Hello everyone, Sharif Abuzid here with a new video. And today I want to show you how you can use the H1, the H2, and the H3 tags inside WordPress. And let me tell you this, this is really important to know the difference between these uh, heading tags because knowing the difference will help you structure the content of your website pages and posts in a way that will help Google and other search engines understand the content of these posts and pages. And sometimes when people try to, you know, style their uh, titles and subtitles, they just make the font much bigger, which is a common mistake. And this is real mistake. When you are trying to make like subtitles and titles inside the content of your website pages, you need to use the heading tags. But still, sometimes it's not clear difference between these tags. And this is my job in this quick video is to let you know the difference between uh, these tags and how you can actually use them. And let me tell you the idea behind these tags. The idea behind these tags, the H1 tags, two, three, up to H6 tag is coming from how you can, how authors actually structure the content of their books. So now a book has one title and a set of chapters or subtitles. So usually this is the idea. Any post or page should have one H1 tag and many times, many H2s and H3 tags. Let me show you in a real example inside a table of content for a book. So this is an image that I have taken from uh, one of my Google searches. And as you can see, this is a book about, I think, design principles. And as you can see now, the book has a title inside the cover so the the book title has been written once inside the cover of the book and for the table of content the author has listed the chapters so product and submission information this is chapter uh, one chapter two chapter three and chapter three has subtitles the main subtitles are quality pages for design non-technical uh, pages for this for for decision sorry clinical pages for decision and benefit risk assessment for recommendation. And these subtitles of chapter three, again, has another set of subtitles. Each one of these subtitles has a set of like five, four, six, two subtitles as well. How do you, how can you make Google, if you are structuring a, 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 um, a, a, an article, for example, for your website, how you can tell people that these topics are subtitles and these are chapters. How you can do this? You actually do this through your H1 tags, H2 tags, H3 tags, up to H6 tags. So let me tell you how you can use this. This is the uh, article title. This is a post. So now if I click update here and I try to view the post, you'll find that this is the post header or title. This post title should be H1 tag. And this is the only place that you need to have your H1 tags only in the page title or the post title. You need to only have one heading tags, heading one tag only or one H1 tag only. Now, when you try to structure the rest of your content, you can actually use H2 tags, H3 tags, up to H6 tags. Let's say that you are, you will disable the 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 um, the header of this post, and this is available inside Word, many WordPress themes such as Cadence theme, Astra, Generate Plus, uh, Generate Press, Bloxy, and some other posts. You can actually let's say that I want to delete. I don't want to show it the header of this content of this post and this is available inside i'm using the cadence theme if i just click here and disable the page title and click update and i click refresh here you'll find that the page the page the post title has been um has disappeared and i can do this in some scenarios for example when i'm writing a page so what i like to do what i can do now is that i will add the title of the post inside here Okay, and I will turn this into a heading tag and make sure this is a H1 tag. So this is my H1 tag. I will use it once. Now, for the rest of the content, I can use the H2 tags. So let's say that this is a, a subtitle. 
so for my post okay so this is this should be marked as an h2 tag not an h3 tag if i'm having another subtitle let me just copy this and click enter here and paste it here let me just add some content let me add a paragraph here let me just copy this let's go here and add a title here now i need to add another title let me i can just copy this add it here and turn this into a heading tag and now this can this should be heading tag two and let me copy the content of this again here so this is my h2 tags so now we have a main title which is the post title this should be heading one and some subtitles or chapters of this article this should be heading two or h2 tags i should mark this as h2 tags now if i want to add another subtitle inside this one i should be using h3 tags because now let me just click enter here i want to make some you know um, some subtitles for this let's say that a, a um, let's say another subtitle a mini subtitle let's say this is a mini a mini subtitle here and let's add another let me just copy this mini subtitle here let me add mini subtitle here i need to mark this as h3 so let's choose a heading tag mark these as h3s and let me add some content here let me just add some content behind be under just below this and let's mark this again as heading tag h3 tags let's add some title some content here h3 tags and let's add some content inside here so this is the structure of my content it is a big mistake that if you want to make titles you just make something bigger and this is a common mistake when people choose this let's say that uh, people try to make a subtitle be, be below this um, and they add something like this and they just you know make the paragraph title bigger so let's go here and let's make this x large and they make this bold and leave it like this this is really this is a common mistake this is very bad for the structure of your content you need to use the h1 h2 and h3 tags for the content because as you can see this has been marked as a paragraph tag as it, as has been written here this is a paragraph tag we need, if we need to make this a subtitle we need to change the heading ta the tag into a heading tag and choose here h2 or h3 to make this as a heading tag now how you can control the font size the colors of your h1 h2 h3s this comes from one of these two places from your either from your theme settings inside the customizer or from your page builder settings for example if you are using something like elementor you need to set the font size color from your elementor settings so you don't have to change this or or you know you don't have to make some extra effort to set the size each time that you use a heading tag so make sure that you are setting the size of your h1 h2s and h3 tags inside your page builder or your theme customizer again let me just wrap up this uh, the content of this video in saying that the use of h1 h2s and h3 tags is the same way that you would structure the table of content of a book a book has only one title which is the heading one tag inside our post and page and the book can have multiple subtitles and or multiple chap uh, chapters and in the case of our wordpress content the chapters should be marked as h2 tags and if these chapters has subtitles inside wordpress these subtitles are marked with h3 tag so hopefully you find um something useful inside this video and you like it if you like it please give me a thumbs up and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create three videos a week to help you make better wordpress websites using common themes and plugins as well thank you so much and see you in the next video bye for now